Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you love this podcast, please give us a rating and review however you listen to us. Platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify, the more ratings and reviews that we get that are positive, the more they actually show this podcast to people who have never listened to it before. So if you would do me a huge favor, give us a rating and review, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Today, we're going to be talking about a secret to being more motivated, a secret to not procrastinating, to going out and getting things done. But we're also going to talk about how to be more motivated and live a very purposeful, purpose-filled life, I guess you could say. And one of the things that I get asked all of the time, like probably more than anything else, I would say, is on Instagram and messages, Rob, how do I get more motivated? How do I motivate myself? How do I become a more motivated person? And it's very simple. But as anything in life, it's simple, but it's not always easy to do. Uh, motivation and hard work and all of that can be easy. It can also be hard. Motivation is hard when you're doing something for yourself and yourself alone. When you're thinking about yourself and focusing on yourself and it's all about you, 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 motivation can be very, very hard to find. If you're, for instance, just doing something to make money, trust me, please trust me. The first 30 years of my life or so, when I learned that I could make money and I didn't have to be broke anymore, I worked my ass off and my number one focus was like, how can I stop being broke? How can I make money? And it becomes very hard after a while to motivate yourself to make money because money, it's just like a hollow existence. There's nothing really to it. There's no substance to money. There's nothing wrong with it. It's great. I love money. I love making money. I love spending money. I love the good that I can do in the world with money. But at the same time, I also know that it's not what I want to dedicate my life to. And so it can be fun and motivating at first to go for money and to try to make ourselves into something amazing or to be famous or any of that, make a viral video. But after a while, it's just, the only word I can really come up with is it's hollow. You know, it's the same way that, you know, when you have a success in your life, when you have something that's amazing, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to call someone. You want to celebrate with somebody. Why? Because for us, it's more fun to take actions with people, for people, and for a purpose than it is to just for yourself, for yourself, for yourself, for yourself. There are people that literally just go through their entire lives and work and try to create an existence that's specifically for themselves. Uh, some of them are sociopaths and some of them are completely lost. And some of them end up eventually realizing like, damn, I just built my entire, I built this entire house and I don't even like this damn house. And by house, I mean the life that they built. And so it's more fun to take actions for people than it is to take actions for self. And so one of my very first mentors, when I first got into being a manager in this company, and he used to talk about the difference between, between being on self versus on purpose. And I talk about this a lot with people who have coached with me, people who are, you know, I, I teach coaches how to grow coaching businesses because uh, I've built my coaching business and I've taught over 1,200 coaches how to do it. And in this program that I have called Business Breakthrough, where we teach the coaches how to grow, I talk about the difference between being on self versus on purpose. It's a lot easier to take actions to build your business, for them specifically, it's a coaching business, when it is based off of wanting to help other people versus wanting to just help yourself. So like if somebody's a coach, for instance, we'll use this example as a great example, they could go, you know what, I wanna, I wanna create content and put it out there to go viral. And behind all of that, they think I wanna go viral because I wanna show that I'm good enough and I'm smart enough and people like me. But it's a lot easier to make content that really does well when you think, how can I create content that's going to impact someone's life? How can I make this not about myself? And let me explain what I mean by on self versus on purpose. On self means that the actions that you're taking is for yourself. Wanting to just make money for yourself. Wanting to just not be broke anymore. You can do all of this. You can work really hard at just creating a life that is built off of yourself and yourself alone. And many people in this world do it. And they push themselves and they push themselves and they push themselves to do it. But it can also mean that you're not taking actions for yourself. You know, it can mean that when you're going, when I do this thing, I want to do it for other people as, as well. And so before I go on to on purpose, let me, let me stay on, on self just for a second for you. It's 
you know, I want to go ahead and I want to build this business because I want to be rich. I want to put this video up and go viral and go get a lot of followers so that I become famous. I want to do this so that I can. I want to do this so that I can. I want to do this so that I can. All of that is on self. All of that is on self. What is in it for me? What is in it for me? How can I do this for me? That's all on self. Not worrying about, like the example I gave a minute ago, about creating a video to impact others, but just how I'm viewed in the eyes of other people. And it stops so many people from taking action because eventually they, they, they consciously and subconsciously, deep down inside of them, their gut is like, this isn't it. This isn't it, man. This isn't the thing that you want to be doing. And so what people do is they say, hey, how do I become motivated? One of the best ways to find out if somebody actually, number one, is doing what they should be doing, or number two, if they're viewing what they're doing the correct way, is how motivated they are or are not. And so you could be doing something that is your life purpose, but you're just viewing it in the wrong way. You're viewing it based off of self, not based off the people that they're going to help. And so I'll give you another example, just because I'm on this, this track. When I talk about people growing their coaching businesses and creating content and putting content out there, the, another example that I hear all the time and people are like, well, I'm afraid to put out Instagram posts. I'm afraid to put out something motivational. I'm afraid that, you know, I'm going to put out something motivational because now I'm a life coach and Nancy in accounting is going to judge me because of the fact that I work, you know, at a, a corporation and now I'm trying to build this life coaching business. And what happens is they're thinking to themselves, they're more worried about how that person is going to view them versus how many people could see this video and that video could impact their lives. That's being focused, that there's, they could still be on the path of their life purpose, but be looking at it through the wrong lens. I think it's a natural way to start out. I think it's natural for a human to want to be serving self first, to want to make sure that the preservation, it's, the preservation of self is the core of the human brain. We need to preserve ourselves. But we're not animals anymore. We're still animals, but we also have, have evolved past that. And so the next evolution of taking action is taking action for the, self of, for the sake of other people, knowing what good you're going to be doing in the world, knowing that you're going to be doing something that helps people, changing your business around that might be an existing business to help people. This is why there's so many people who build businesses and part of their business has to be charitable or not has to be charitable. Part of the business is charitable. I have a really good friend. He just sold his business basically, I guess, a little bit over eight months ago or so. He sold it for a couple hundred million dollars. And um, when he said he had the biggest uptick in how hard he was working, now he owned a supplement company. He sold his supplement company for a couple hundred million dollars. And he eventually he started to realize five, six, seven years ago that he was like, I'm just selling these supplements and it's doing good for the world, but I'm not really motivated by it. He decided to take his business and attach a part of his business to something that was important to him, which was the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So that every dollar that came in, a part of that dollar went to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So he took an existing business that didn't feel like it had a whole lot of purpose and built purpose into it. And he said, that's when he started working harder. That's when he started having his employees more tied into the mission. And then he also gave an option every time somebody checked out on their checkout page to be able to donate one, two, three, or five dollars to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And they donated hundreds of wish to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And so it's not saying like, hey, this maybe you've built a business and you feel like, well, I'm in the wrong, damn it, I built the wrong business. No, it's like, hey, maybe you built the business and maybe you can change the business around to also serve others even more, right? It's, it's taking your action and doing it towards other people. So if we go back to the simple putting up an Instagram people, uh, Instagram post, Instagram post, not people, putting up an Instagram post and putting it up there instead of thinking, oh my gosh, the lighting doesn't look good. Haters are going to come out. How's this message going to come across? Do I sound smart? I'm fumbling up my words. My, you know, hair doesn't look as good as it possibly could. Maybe I should do this again and then and again and again. That's all thinking about self, 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 self. On purpose means I'm going to post this damn video about anxiety, for instance, because there's someone out there that needs it. Even if you don't want, like, just think about this, for instance, even if you don't want to grow a coaching business or a business in that, in that realm, maybe you have something that has gotten you past being anxious. Maybe you have something that's gotten you to grow your business. Maybe you've gotten something that's helped you become a better mother or a better father or a better spouse. 
brother, son, whatever, and you have, you have some knowledge, there's someone out there that wants that knowledge. And hearing that knowledge would change a piece of them. And so a good example is like, what if you were, so let's say that your example is you, um, you have one tip that really helped you become a better parent. Why not create a video and post that on Instagram and just put it out there? Well, because most people are like, well, how am I going to view, be viewed? What are people going to think of me? What if I fumble up my words? No, fuck that. It helped you. It will help somebody else. So why don't we start taking action from a place of service, from a place of wanting to help people and go, you know what? I'm not going to make any money off of this. I'm not going to get anything from this, but there's somebody out there that probably needs to hear this. I'm going to record this video about how I became a better parent. One tip that really helped me out. And I'm just going to post it out there and hopefully it helps somebody. Watch what happens when you do that. When you come from a place of service, people are like, oh my God, this is amazing. I love this tip. I'll give a great example. One time, I have a friend who's not in coaching. He's not in speaking. He's not in any of those things. But he posted a thing one day where he was talking about, it's probably six years ago now. He posted a video talking about before he and his wife go to bed, every single night they say something that they like about each other. So as they're laying in bed, it's become a habit where they say something that they like about each other. He's not making any profit off of teaching this to people, but it helped him in his relationship. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I like that. And I showed it to Lauren and I was like, hey, we should start doing that. We started it like five or six years ago. I think it was five years ago now. We started five years ago and I don't think that we've missed a day in five years. Every single time that we go to bed, we say something that we like about each other to each other. Obviously, if we're not around each other, I'm traveling or she's traveling, it doesn't happen. But we're together. That is literally how we end the night. That just came from a friend. It's helped our relationship tremendously. So do you have something that can go and help people? And so maybe you have had an eating disorder at one point. And maybe something helped you overcome it. Maybe you could put that on there as well. That's talking about on purpose. It is the act of doing something for the sake of wanting to help others and being disconnected from the outcome of it. Because you know, you feel in your gut and your heart that this is the thing that you want to be and that you want to do. Even if you never see that person. Like I know there's many people on this podcast. We will never have a conversation. I'll never meet you. It sucks. I wish that I could. It'd be awesome. But putting this information out there is going to help you in some sort of way. That's why I do it. That's why I started this years and years and years ago. I have whatever, 13, 1400, 1500 episodes. I don't even know how many I have anymore. It's because I've just felt like there's things that I have that could help people and I just want to help people. And whatever comes of it, comes of it. And it wasn't about growing one of the top 100 podcasts in the world. It was just about putting the information, feeling obligated to help is really what it came out to be. And so when I talk about being on purpose, it, um, it talks about, well, first off, let me say something else before I forget it. It doesn't mean that you make yourself a martyr. Like, don't tell yourself that you're going to do everything for every person. Your entire life is about that. Don't forget to take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. You have to make sure you take care of your needs. And so I don't want you to go out into your life and be like, my entire life is about helping other people. You've got to fill up your cup first. You've got to take care of yourself. But it's so much easier to take action and to become quote unquote motivated when you're doing it from a place of wanting to help other people. You know, you can have your, the actions that you take on a daily basis, but what's really important is like, what's your North star? Like, what's your guiding light that you want to be in this world that's going to help other people? I know I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I think that one of the biggest problems in the world right now is that people are too busy thinking about themselves and thinking that everybody else needs to change. Oh, I'm perfect the way that I am. Everybody else needs to change. No. What is it that wants to be my guiding light instead of instead of demonizing people and saying this people on this side is wrong, this people on this side is wrong, I'm right. What if my whole life purpose and what I really want to use as my guiding light is how can I do something in my day to help each person? That's why I literally end the podcast every single episode with make it your mission to make somebody else's day better. What can I do today to make somebody else's day better? And how can I go out there and try to help other people? I'm going to try to turn down my selfish thoughts as much as I possibly can. I'm going to turn down my ego as much as I possibly can. I'm going to turn down my judgments of myself as much as I possibly can and try to take action for the sake of others. Because I think that's what the world really needs right now. There's too many selfish people. There's too many people that are thinking about themselves. I think that if people started thinking about others more and started thinking from a place of service, Obviously, the, number one, the world would be better. But number two, people would be a whole lot happier as well. So if you want to be more motivated and if you want to make it easier to take action, how can you find some sort of purpose in your business, in your life, in all of the actions that you have that will make it your actions 
geared towards helping other people in the process as well. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in it. Rob Dial Jr. R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. Once again, podcast Instagram is exploding. So if you want to follow us on there, we grew by like 30, 40,000 people in the past few weeks. Uh, I think about four weeks or so, about 30, 40,000 people started following us. Um, We had some videos that went crazy viral. And so if you want some extra tips and tricks inside of that Instagram feed of yours, go ahead and follow the Mindset Mentor Podcast on Instagram. Once again, the Mindset Mentor Podcast. And I'm going to leave it the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make somebody else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.